Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, we're Disc of Ossos, and this is Chainsaw Man episode 9. So, last episode, our world got rocked. Himeno is, I think, dead dead. I feel like Makima, obviously it's implied that she's dead. I find it hard to believe that she is, but I mean, she got shot in the head. So, I mean, it's gonna be hard to come back from that, I'd imagine. Unless she had some sort of agreement with some sort of devil. I have a theory that she maybe is more like Denji, potentially. Like, maybe mm. she's like a half-ish. I mean, her eyes and Power's eyes are kind of similar, if you mm. really look at them. Yeah. And I was thinking that last, last episode. I was like, how could she get out of this? Mm. I mean, she could have a contract, or maybe she... Is, is a like fiend. a fiendish type mm. and like a super intelligent. I don't know. That would be kind of a cool reveal. Or she's really dead and the show is just like wild. Yeah. I feel like I have a lot of questions as I feel like that this woman that we were introduced to also facilitated like I guess the hit on Makima. Yeah. But before that I was thinking it was going to be the big wigs that she was talking about. I still feel like it's her and I'm hopeful that she's still going to stay alive so that she could like tell us who this possibly is because I feel like she would know. Yeah, as it comes to Denji, I feel like he's going to come up here and fight, but I really feel like the gun devil is the one who's kind of hired this woman and then the sword dude to be able to kill him because I still feel like the gun devil is possibly scared of the chainsaw devil or Pochta. Like, I feel like maybe there's a, a situation where they had, like, known each other before. Possibly. I mean, I, unless you just, like, know what devil's associated with what object, and you could be like, oh my gosh, I need to watch out for him. He could be gunning for me one day. But I kind of feel like, you know, that there's probably more to it than that. All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon if you want to see our full length reaction to this series. We also do have a second channel, Dos Cavazos IRL, where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content. We actually just posted a video over there where I did a cosplay every single day for 30 days. One of them was a Makima cosplay, so if you want to check it out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. I saw a meme this week that's like, Himeno cosplay, and it was like all her clothes on the oh ground <laughs> with her <Yeah>. eye patch. <laughs> Evil Kenma. If these deaths, like, hold true, like, I can't believe they did it. <laughs> yeah. The show goes on that level. Yeah. There's some shows that can pull it off. Yeah. And those are typically, like, the best ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just realized it only took, like, her little, uh, fingernail. So it only took a fingernail for, to do that? Like, what happens if it takes two fingernails? <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't even thinking in terms of like, you know, what sort of yeah. agreement. But like, that's like had. nothing, you know? Oh, the ghost hand! Is it just like by itself now? Like It's like Cousin It now. <gasps> he, oh, he's pulling Denji's cord! I don't know, I just like grabbed my <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah. I'm feeling this song. I know. <laughs> For Himeno. Okay, I have a theory too. So, we saw Pochta merge kind of with Denji to save him. Like, do you think the people have to merge with devils and that's like a whole different thing? You know? So we have fiends, we have mm -hmm. devils, but like, if a situation... Because it's not like power where it's like a, like a devil's like occupying a body. Yeah. Like, it's different. Like, he's like... like he's not Pochta. Yeah, he's like... Both, almost. Yeah. But, like, he has the powers of Pochta without being Pochta. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh. It's the reinforcements. Or the heart. Or the heart. So this is the gun devil's gun bullets, maybe? You know? Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's pieces of the gun devil. Yeah, that they have. put in the heart somehow. It's gotta be, because it, yeah. they made such an emphasis about, like, making it's sure the heart was fine. And it's a bullet, so. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't cut him. I don't think they give a fuck about him. <laughs> Are you trying to hold him hostage? They don't care about this dude. Don't lick him. I don't think that's what he's doing. He's like I feel like he's about to leave. He's like yeah. powering up. Oh no! Turn around! Turn around! <gasps> what the fuck?! He just fucking mauled his ass! Why does this keep happening?! Oh, what the oh, fuck? Regrow have your body right now. Oh my gosh, they got him. <laughs> the show's freaking crazy. My goodness. It's like everybody that died. Oh, oh there was like brain. 
like cut to Makima. Oh my gosh, she might be dead dead. She looked dead. Tell me she has like a little string too. <laughs> Come the on, cities. Makima. Some. <gasps> oh, yes! oh my gosh, Merkel. Yes! Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. Yeah. I was not ready. That felt like a horror film. <laughs> like when you oh think my it goodness, kills I'm so glad. I'm so glad she couldn't have died. <laughs> Here's her train. She's about to come out all bloody. I know. She had like a smile kind of still too. Yeah. So she has to be like like a, a halfy. <laughs> yeah. Like Denji. I want to see what she has to say though, because uh -huh. this is how we're going to get answers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maki is so freaking cool. That'd be a cool cosplay to do with the blood. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> What did she do? There's like a massive hole in all their chests. What can she do? She turns into something. She has like to. Like Denji. And like the other she guy, the sword to. dude. What has a, like a, a hole? A drill? <laughs> oh, whoa. 30 guns. You need people that are expendable. What happened to like her bullet wounds too? I mean, they healed up just like Denji's wounds. <laughs> she says it with like the... I know. The kindest faces. But... I mean, we've always been speculating that there's another side of Makima. She just she has like shown. no personality, so it's hard to tell like what she's mm -hmm. really thinking or is. You know, she's just kind of a one-toned person, very calm all the time. They gave him snacks. <laughs> just eat your snacks. Might be their last meal. <laughs> I always love Japanese architecture. It's so yeah, pretty. It's really cool. Ugh. Show us your string. <laughs> You have a string! Oh, that was oh, her elbow? Oh, I thought elbow something was like, popping oh out of her back! <laughs> what do you think she's the devil of? That's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, hmm, what could she be? It has to be something strong. I'm trying to think. That what makes could, a like, circle. Like, blow a hole in it, like a cannonball? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they're just dragging Denji's half body. Is this somebody? Could it be? Pro? Devil? <laughs> oh, something's going on. Somebody's about to like. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! What the? You got squished! Oh my gosh! You got literally compressed. It was like watching those videos with like the I... they squeeze things like it's like ASMR with those little things. I, I don't even know what they're called. I think it's like a press or something like that. Oh my gosh! That was... It has to be Makima then because they're like checking on her body. So she. Oh shit! Is this what she's doing? But her has made a hole unless she can do multiple well, things. Maybe. She's worried now. Is it Makima? Is she, is she like crow? watching through the crows? Or is she a crow? What can she be? Come on, what is it? Like, I don't know. I mean, she's like she doing be? a stance. The crows are crows. behind her. Oh my gosh, show yourself, please. Is she gonna like, is she killing these people to kill other people? No wonder she's the boss. You're so happy. They were blindfolded. Yeah, they she just, did she not let anybody see? Maybe. You know, Ooh, the intrigue. Oh, contracts. Multiple. Shizo Mishima? That's not. What's about to happen to him? Is it like whoever the name is yeah. gets squished? But what happens to the person who says it, though? Oh, uh, you're next, bro. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, my gosh. It's like she can manipulate what. What death? And they would die that too. Be, okay, though. yeah. So she's like sacrificing people. But like, what could that? You know. The sacrifice devil. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. The stand-in <laughs> devil. Oh my gosh. Dang, she's freaking she's dark brutal. too. Yeah. Like brutal. Like no regard. So that was like their last meal. That I wasn't know. just a snack that they had on the drive over. She is so fucking OP. No wonder they're scared of her. Either that, or it's like a devil that she's like in agreement with, but like her yeah. sacrificing is sacrificing other people. So does she, is she sacrificing anything, or is the other person the thing? She's you know? letting the person or the devil take the people, like the convicts, and I guess like the payoff. <laughs> Denji's just there in half. These two, do you not know their names? You have to know their names if you know the fucking other people's names. Are they about to get squished? I hope so. Or did you take out all your convicts? She's like such a like sweet voice person now. Just like nothing. 
I forgot already. The the one who's scared of everything. Yeah, because she was her body wasn't on the yeah. screen. What power does she have then? She got out of the situation. What contract do you have? Hopefully she's badass. And like cause yeah, she was annoying she me in her first her fear, introduction. Maybe? Yeah. I mean now she's just angry because yeah. they killed him. Well now it's like her her well, she had to have taken out that other girl. Oh my gosh, she could take out the snake, because this is very Oh fuck! What the hell? Where was this? Why were you acting like Where was this? like <laughs> so scared in the freaking hotel? Oh what? What are you doing? She's just using a knife too. <gasps> Dang girl! I see why they recruited you. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, she, she got, got Daisy. Daisy. Redemption. <laughs> using Redemption. his body as a shield. Well, you better not be scared anymore. Yeah, I know. Because you're proving yourself. She's so like scared <laughs> on the face though. <laughs> I know. How is she doing all this while still like having that face? Bye scary Kenma. <laughs> Back to Ayoba Josai. <laughs> Actually, I think that was the wrong school. Yeah. Like, what was it? <laughs> I forgot, I forgot it's been so what long. Was their they were the alley cats. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a lady. <laughs> oh shit! But the fact that you can do things despite your anxiety, yeah, that's pretty cool. Respect. <laughs> like you're good at it, but you hate it. I know. <laughs> oh, oh. Meadow, she doesn't know. I just want to know so much more about Makima. I'm just like so interested in that right now. There's like a thing about her that's kind of like mysterious, kind of like Gojo in Jujutsu, yeah. but obviously a completely different personality. Oh. Did she know? Like that this was all gonna happen? Oh. She probably knew then. Like what what exactly does that mean? Mm -hmm. Like were you anticipating taking these casualties? And like you didn't really care that like you know yeah. a lot on your team were gonna die? Or did you think it was like a necessary thing? Yeah. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice some pawns. Pawns as they were like her people. Well, I'm talking like, you know, the game of chess that she's playing with the gun devil. I literally have no idea hmm. what Makima is up to. Okay, so Makima, like kind of what we were hoping for, wasn't dead. Not yeah. only was she not dead, she is very OP. We don't really know the extent of her powers. We obviously saw the people that try to kill her on the train have holes in their chest, like, freaking massively sized. And then we saw her also be able to, like, just squish people by what it looked like sacrificing other people. That's why she asked for the convicts. It's interesting that it seems like she does have multiple kinds of contracts. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because, like, on the train, they were, like, had a hole through them. Yeah. Which, I mean, it could be a part of the squish thing, but I feel like it's not because she didn't yeah, have the convicts then. Yeah. So, like, maybe that was, like, one, and then she did the convict squish yeah. thing. But it's also interesting that people aren't allowed to really know about her her contracts. Like, yeah. that seems like only her superiors probably know about that, obviously. Um, but nobody below her, and she probably keeps that a secret for a reason. Um, but then again, the one I keep calling her Kenma, but <laughs> this, the, I eventually we'll find out her name. Um, she clearly knows who Makima is yeah. and is they afraid were worried of her. About her yeah. um, and that's why they tried to kill her. Obviously it didn't work out. Makima might have had prior knowledge to that, which is another thing that's like, whoa, she might have known about this yeah. and like, did she let all of her people just like die like that? You know? That'd I be mean, wild. But... She might not actually really care about them. I mean, it seems like her primary focus is taking down the gun devil. Yeah. And besides that, she might be willing to like, you know, sacrifice, like I use the term pawns, but you know, I'm thinking about like as a 4D chess battle between her and the gun devil. Obviously the gun devil's got people working for him. Uh, I feel like there is going to be sacrifices made if that is the case. I mean, right now we could either chalk up like the whole attempted assassination of Makima as something that she knew was going to happen and she did something to make herself look like she died, but then she didn't die. 
or she has another contract with another devil that could yeah. bring her back, or she's somewhat some similar to Denji. You know, I kind of threw yeah. out the possibility that it seems like it's just a little different than what we've seen. We obviously see the devils, we see the fiends, like power, but then there's something different with Denji where he's not fully devil, but it seems like, in my opinion, like it could be a situation where like a devil like kind of merges with a human and then that's maybe a third thing and maybe that's Denji, the sword guy that we saw, maybe Makima's like that as well. It might be a situation where she just has like, you know, these innate abilities inside her and maybe she doesn't have contracts. Another thing too with Denji is, so when he formed Fused with Pochta, I think that the deal was that Pochta took his heart or mm. took over his heart? Well, I think Pochta's heart is what's keeping Denji alive, I think. Something like that. So, like, yeah. they're obviously after Pochta's heart, but mm. the thing about, like, the Denji type, I called called him, like, a halfy or whatever, you know? Like, <laughs> like a, a half-breed, half, yeah. Like a half-devil, half-human or whatever. Yeah. Like, they don't have to, every time they use the power, they don't have to really give something give something up like the rest yeah. of them. But so, if Makima, like, I wonder if she did have to give something up to even, like, come back mm. to life, or did she just, like, have that, or, like... You know, and then also, the other girl, she only had to give a fingernail For to something, so something so powerful, so yeah. So it's like, what differentiates, like... Like, the, who's negotiating these right. contracts? Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> maybe we'll take this. Maybe it's that girl, with the, you know, the one that you said is Kenma, maybe she just has a really good uh, negotiator that yeah. uh, facilitated <laughs> yeah. that contract. Or maybe, you know, her contract and agreement with, like, you know, whatever devil is doing this is a thing where, like, hey, I'm not going to give you a part of me, I'm going to give you other people. It'd be like, hey, yeah. take this person, but I need you to kill this person. So it's like a life for a life type of thing. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.